Content is where you're going to find the lessons for your course. It's really important that you review the lessons before you attempt to do the assignments. The lessons are going to provide you with context for all the learning that you're doing. Click on the little binder icon to open that up. Once you open it up, you'll find these little tabs. If you click on the little arrows, they will open up into bigger windows, and then you can browse the material that's there. A lot of the lessons open up in these kind of scrolling windows, so you might need to you might find that it's a little bit small. You can use this little button to expand the window and view the module full screen. Exit full screen by clicking the little button at the top. I'm going to just pop into this first unit and into the first lesson. So I find the lesson here and the reading and stuff like that is really important to kind of get a sense of what's going on in the course. Again, you can expand to view it larger and then you scroll through and read. If you find that the reading is challenging for you, um, a tool like Google Read and Write will work really, really well to help you go through the content and use your ears to listen to it. So I scroll through and then you'll find that in a lot of these courses, the tasks and things to do are embedded within the lesson. So in this case, already here, there's a little discussion post option for me to do. When I'm ready to participate in that discussion, I click the blue button and that'll link me to that task. I can also keep going. In some courses, there's little interactive things like this, where I can click on the buttons to get a little bit more information about what I'm learning about. If you have any questions about the course content, reach out to your teacher via email. If you notice that there aren't a lot of units here, it's possible that your teacher has hidden the unit. So if in this case, I've clicked on unit two and nothing opens up. In this case, the teacher has hidden the lessons from me until I'm finished unit one. So I need to complete all my work for unit one first before I get access to the next unit. Again, if you have any questions about the course content, please reach out to your teacher.